Hello friends, happy Wednesday. Where I work, Wednesday means one thing and one thing only. Well, I guess we just say it maybe means two things. The first, chicken finger sub day, but more importantly, yes friends, more importantly, the soup of the day is cheesy. Potato. Yes, friends, cheesy potato. That is the soup of the day on Wednesdays. And so I am going to attempt to make my own version of cheesy potato soup. Now, I had my own idea here about how I want to do this. I'm going to maybe make it in a non traditional way. But hey, that's what the quarantine's all about. As you can see, my hair is getting longer, the beard is getting scruffier. We're surviving. We're thriving. There's no reason to, you know, hide from things here. We're going to make cheesy potato soup. We're going to enjoy it. And we're going to have a sense of normalcy. So join me if you'd like to see me make my version, or at least a version, of cheesy potato soup. Taking a look here at some of the ingredients I'll be using. All-purpose flour butter, milk, of course, potatoes, and onion. You might be wondering, where is the cheese? It's cheesy potato soup after all. This is my variable, my X factor. To make my version of cheesy potato soup, I will be attempting to use this jar of Tostitos salsa con queso. So perhaps a spicy or Mexican themed cheesy potato soup. I have no idea if this is going to work out great. It's medium spiciness. I have no idea. I am just not planning to use this for anything else right now. I bought it for the Super Bowl. It's made with real cheese. That's a start. Let's find out what happens. So we're going to start here with our onion. As you can see, I've peeled it for the most part. It's got a few things to, to cut up. In order to cut it, add it to our mixture. In the pan right now, I have some water, and some butter, and I'm just starting to melt up, to which I'm going to add the onion that I've since cut. It doesn't matter how they look, a lot of it's just going to end up being for stock, but still, you want that nice layer for the water, the butter, just mixing that up, making a nice little base here for. the onions. Okay. So go ahead, add some onions into the mix. Yes, my hands are clean, don't worry. Yeah. I like onions, so I'll probably add more than you might. Let that cook up a little bit, then I'm going to add some flour in there to, to thicken it just a little bit before I add the next layer, which is going to be water and potatoes. Alright, so we'll check on the onions here. They're doing pretty good. They're definitely softening up. Looking pretty good. Smells really good, as you can probably imagine. That's pretty good. Let's take a look at our potatoes real quick. Yeah, we got the potatoes cut up pretty good. A little bit of onion left on there. That's okay. Gotta put it away. Don't have a container at the, at the exact moment. But we got our potatoes ready to roll. We're gonna add some flour to this mixture here just to thicken it up a little bit before I add the potatoes and the cheese. Flour to this mixture. Just to thicken it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. Don't really want to take it too thick, but I do want to mix it a little bit. Alright, that's looking 
pretty good. We'll add some water. While that thickens up. We've added the potatoes to our mixture. We've added some water and then a little bit of a broth. Some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, just a little bit to season it. We're trying to get a little bit more consistency here with our soup. Let that cook for a little bit. Then we're going to add, since the potatoes need to cook, then we're going to add the cheese. I've now added some milk to the mixture. And you start to see it's it's changed its consistency. It's still, you know, a little thin, right? But it's cooking through and it's no longer clear. There's the milky substance in there. We got the flour doing its thing. I don't want it to get too thick though. That was just more so for the onions to thicken those up a little bit as I caramelize those. And now we've got a nice little broth stewing here. Let that cook for a few more minutes and then I will add in the cheese. All right, so we are ready for the final step. We're going to add the cheese. You can see it's boiling pretty good. It's been in there for about 10 minutes. But we are going to add the cheese. Here we go. Alright, so the cheese is being added. We're going to put you down for a second so I can scoop out the rest and then we'll start mixing it all together. Okay, so the cheese has been added. You can see maybe it's not coming out so great on the camera, but it's definitely a nice yellow color, very much like the jar of queso that I added to it. I also added some garlic powder and some salt just to season it a little bit. A little as we go, we'll try it and see it's bubbling. I got it down to about a four on my stove to let it simmer for a little bit and continue to cook. So once it's had a chance to simmer and soak in all those flavors and really meld together, we'll take a sample and see how it turns out. All right, let's take a little check in on the soup, see how it's doing. It's been sitting here for a while now. And you can clearly see it's a nice color. You can see those peppers from the queso mix floating up now towards the top. So it's down to four, so it's definitely not boiling. It's just simmering nicely and cooking. And we'll continue to let it simmer, let those flavors really mix together before we give it a sample. And there we have the first batch. I'm hesitant to call it the final product because obviously, like all soups, it will continue to cook differently and simmer up over time. And when it's reheated and when it sits for a little bit and stuff, marinate a little more. But again, you can see the steam pouring off it. I just took it right out. I tested a potato to make sure that they were cooked and they were nice and perfect. And so we're gonna let this cool off for a second before we give it a sample. I'll be honest. I have no idea if this is going to be good or not. It looks good. You can see all the different parts of the queso floating around the different peppers. You can definitely see the cheese color. You can see the onions. You can see the potatoes. If I grab my spoon here. You can definitely see, you know, the potatoes, the onions. So it, it's going to be a nice hearty soup for sure. I just don't know how it's going to taste. So that's why we did it. And now we're going to find out. So as I've said, I have no idea if this is going to be good or not. I have no idea if I'm even going to want to take more than one bite. I don't even know if I'll get the one bite down. But we're going to do this live. I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to cut it out. Whatever my first reaction is here, you will see it. So, I've got the soup, got some onion there, the, the base, a potato. Ah, happy Wednesday, cheesy potato soup, queso style, spicy. Yeah, we'll find out. It's still hot, so we're gonna have to cool it off. We know it's fresh, lost an onion, that's okay. All right, friends, it's now or never. Take a second bite, just to get it all in. All right, we got an onion piece on there, we got some potatoes, got more of the 
cheesy base. Let's see what we got. Friends, if you like spicy cheese, if you like potato, if you like soup, this is a home run. Yeah, baby. Woo! Nailed it. This is really good. You can taste the garlic from the garlic powder. The onions add a nice flavor. The actual onions add an onion powder. The salt adds just enough to the potatoes so that way they're not so bland. And then the cheese sauce, the taste sauce. It's spicy, just like when you have your nachos. It complements it so perfectly. This turned out better, better than I expected. It's the right consistency. I don't want it to be much thicker than this, right? I wasn't making a stew. I was making a soup. I wanted there to be a nice cheesy base broth to it. So when you t it looks like this. Right, you can see your potatoes, you have your broth. It's not thick where it's you know you're kind of just eating a block of hardened cheese now. Third bite already. Third bite. Yep, I mean the potatoes cooked up nicely. I left the skin on to add that extra level there. I, I like the skin on potatoes. Some people may not. I like that. It just adds an extra, an extra flavor, like a baked potato. I like the skin part. So I wanted that hearty sort of flavor. I mean, yeah. Is it the same that I would get at work? No. I don't know their recipe. I don't know what they add to it. And I've only made this now once. And they also aren't using queso. They're using, I'm assuming, some sort of either shredded cheese or Velveeta cheese or something to get that consistency, that mixture. I'm using you know, Tostitos queso that you'd put on nachos. So, if you want a spicy, hearty, tasty, cheesy potato soup, there it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it. It lets me know that you enjoyed my cooking adventures today. If you didn't, that's okay too. Maybe my next video will strike your fancy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay in the loop with all my exciting videos coming up over the next few weeks. And share. Share it with your friends. Help me build up my subscriber base so more people see my videos and I can build a nice community and have nice interactions with people. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my soup. I wish you were here to enjoy it with me because it turned out oh so well, oh so tasty. And it makes me feel like I'm back to my normal Wednesday pre-quarantine. So have a great day. Remember, you can have fun while learning. And learning can be fun. Make your life edutaining. Have a great day.